Howdy, Pat. Hey, Sam. Um, welcome along. So, we're doing our first um, 1v1 commander game today. So today I'm playing uh, Dak on Blackblade, aka Dak Black, as he was known in high school. Um, I'm playing against my friend Sam. Sam, what deck are you playing today? I'm playing a Captain Sisse deck. So Sissy, Sisse uh, lets me take advantage of my uh, huge amount of legendary cards. Um, I, I imagine with the recent printing of Dominaria, Sisse, uh, the deck really improved, Sam? Well, I, I certainly got plenty of new legendaries. Um, yeah, it's, it certainly was helpful to get more at the lower end. Certainly it's easier for legendaries to just be uh, pretty expensive. Yeah, I revived uh, Dak Black with the uh, printing of Dominaria, so that's the um, reason why I've decided to dust this deck off and uh, give it a, a sleek uh, new feel. I think I'll... I'll keep. keep. This is good for me, for sure. All right. Game on. I begin. I will uh, play a forest and be done. Cool. Draw. I'll put down a uh, tapped desert of the true and in my turn. Good start. I'll play at plains. Uh, tough choice, really. But I think I'll get out my cream of the crop. Oh, okay. So green's good for growth. It's a it's an accelerator card. Yeah, that's a good call. So I put down a secluded step, and uh, that's all I can do for this turn. All right. Wow, I certainly am getting a lot of growth cards. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I'll play a Rona's Monument. So I gotta watch out for those green creatures. Oh yeah, I'm I'm upgrading. Uh, a wise man once told me that the secret to winning commander is through artifacts and enchantments. Yes, he does sound like a wise man indeed. And um, I'm gonna heed his advice and I'll play a druidic satchel. Strong. With all this, you know, upgrading that we're up to. Um, wait a minute. Green spells cost one mana less to play. Uh, green creature spells, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Secure Tribe Elder. Yep. Um, I think everybody knows Steve. Yeah, and I think I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do one more thing. Luckily, luckily, there's no mana burn now, right? Right. Because um, in order to get that green, I had to... Yeah, yeah, get two. Yeah, sure. But out comes Heart Warden. Uh, so uh, she'll come out. She'll trigger plus two plus two just to kind of you know make him in intimidate. intimidate. Yeah, um, very intimidated. Go. Cream of the crop's been triggering, but the the card just. Um, but you, you you did it with Heart Warden, did you? All right, I'll do it. Do it with Heart Warden, so you can. All right. Uh, do that's, your cream. that's that's fine. All right, that doesn't sound fine. Yeah, that'll um, that'll be good. Whew. Whew. Actually, I'll just sack this and get land in play. Yeah, yeah. We're having a bit of a land race at the moment. Yeah. Um, do I want to do this now or do I want to wait? Better to wait. Yeah, it's That's an instant the important anyway. thing. I can activate it instant speed. No creatures is the bad thing, but anyway, I, I'll pass to you, Sam. Yeah, my strategy of having nothing good enough to target is a pretty tough one mm -hmm. to deal with. Uh, Alright, well... <clears throat> now we... Hmm... Oh, you, keep, you keep peeking at Sisse, what are you... Yeah, I know. Are you anticipating something? I think she's coming down. I think that's what you think. Yeah. But the important thing is to surprise you. Instead, you can deal with Jugan. I don't want to deal with Jugan. <laughs> so that's the new plan. Go. Oh, you're going to trigger your cream of the crop? Oh, yeah. I'm terrible at this game. All right. Um, you, can, you can do that while I Five decide cards. whether I... Hmm. All right. That was really important. It was so important for me to cream of the crop. Well, I'm going to activate my satchel. Mm. So I reveal the top card in my library. It's a non-land, so I gain two life and I go up to 42. And I will commence my turn. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. 
I'm rich on planes. Well, that's plain to see. Hmm. You've got to use that. I've got to use it, yeah. Spell that you're hanging on to. I've got to use my satchel. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a creature. Um, one. Just one, one green sap. Check this. Yes. And um, I shall be done. All right. Well, it's uh, bad news all the way. Is the idea? I should play try to get a green creature out before attacking. Let's do that. That that makes sense, but um. um Spending one mana too many to play uh, Captain Sisse out, my sure. my commander. Your commander. And I'll uh, pump the Heart Warden. Yep. And uh, send them all across. Hmm. All right. So three three trample five five. Three three flying. trample. Yeah. So I forgot about the Runner's Monument. Hmm. It's not going to matter. So I will just take eight. Okay. And uh, my Sepperling. I am going to, during your turn, cast an instant, I'll Merciless Resolve, mm -hmm. I'll ditch the sap, and I'll draw two cards. Now, give me that land that I need. Well, it wasn't the land that I need, but it can get me the land that I need, except I have to survive yeah, that's, okay. the, mm. that's the tough part. It's very, yeah. Survival. Um, should I blunt the assault or should I go for my land? I think you've got to let the assault continue to happen. Uh, that's the important thing, to just keep leading. Well, I guess the one thing I've learned playing against you over the years, Sam, is to do the opposite of what you say. Right. So I'm yeah. going to cast my Awakened Amalgam. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the key part of your deck, because Black Blade's a land-based land, yeah. card. It's kind of like a lands matter, mm. but without green. So it's a tricky sort of strategy. But anyway, um, Awakened Amalgam is currently a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a 5, 5. Go well, on. Yeah, 5 different types of lands. I need me a, something equivalent to a Blood Moon or something. That's well, yeah. Good luck in, in those colors. All right. Well, now that I have a uh, a strong opponent to deal with, I need to figure out what to get with Sisse. Mm. Um, Consider this strategy closely. I need to I need to bring something into play, obviously, because I got I got to get my boost in. Um, so, with this deck, uh, the important thing is for me to be able to fish a card out, I reckon, within 40 seconds is the polite thing in a commander game. That's true. Uh, so... If we were going by a point system, we would uh, start deducting points. Um. Yeah. Well, there's uh, plenty of contenders. It's mostly looking for... Uh, a five minor card. I'll just go Yeva, Nature's Herald. So, um, you know, there's an advantage here of being able to play uh, yeah, right. cards with Flash. Correct. You don't have to play it now. So. Um, you can surprise me, but it's not much of a surprise since well, it's in your hand. Well, I'll, I'll surprise you with it. Sure. Um, and so, pump the dragon. Um, whilst also triggering cream of the crop, uh, so I've got four cards good play. to figure <laughs> out. Um, hmm. I guess Sounds before cool. you come mm -hmm. in, come in for the um, face yeah. tear, Sam. I'm going to sack my Esper Panorama and dig up a land. So is the uh, assault coming in? Yeah, Thinking yeah. About it, just um, I was not distracted by that land so hard as to not decide to to go to combat. Me um, and my big man. All right, so that's seven. So, uh, seven, seven, dragon spirit. So yeah, you may go. Luckily, he's not your commander. Well, 
I mean, this guy could bring down, you know, civilizations. So okay. don't, uh, don't take it personally. I'm going to deal with Sisse. I'll cast Famine. Mm -hmm. So Famine deals three damage to each creature and each player. Wow. Um, that's interesting. So the red equivalent might be three red mana or something like that. Yeah. I think it's because it's black, they add an extra tax to it. But um, um, yeah, that's Well, it, it does the job, takes out Sisse. Yeah, Gotta got sure. deal with that. That's that one problem down. Now there's like three yeah. others I need to deal with still. Yeah, no, um, that's important. Um, so we each take three as well. So that puts me down to 25 and you go down to 37. Is that's that? it. Yeah. Cool. Um, hmm. And that's all I can do. Just have to sit tight. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you wouldn't want to stir up the hornet's nest no. by attacking. That's, that's, yeah, that's a pretty big nest too. Need something bigger to deal than Jugan. Alright, so... I've got me a sixth land. Um, I had kind of planned... And, you know, continuing to tap Sisse, but I will, well, let's start by a Sensei Golden Tail. Cream of the Crop triggers, um, hmm, nice cards, wow. Um, alright. So, so who's getting the juice? Uh, so, um, yeah, man, everything happens when I cast a creature. Alright, so... Plus two, plus two. Uh, so your dude's currently a five, five, uh, right? He's currently four, four. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, four, I'll, four. I'll pump up Yabba just, just to be aggro. Mm, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Um, and I'll, I'll swing in for assault. I'll just take the eleven, I guess. Goodness me! I will play Hutley, Radiant Champion. I love the art on Hutley. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, just glorious. So, legendary planeswalker, th three loyalty. I'm going to use his plus one straight away yep. to put a loyalty counter on him for each creature I control, which is three. So, she. So, I believe. Hoodly, uh, Have you been using the pronoun he? Look, I don't see gender, Patrick. Okay. Um, but um, that's that's a woman, right? Yeah, dinosaurs do. Uh, yeah. But, um, I'll take your point. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Hootley, uh, <laughs> has some plans. For sure. I had some plans. Well, it's, it's a never-ending army of legendary creatures. So it's rough. It's a, it's a, it's a strong deck. There's, it is. There's not a lot of combo necessarily going on. Um, they're just individually, um, pretty powerful. Well, I can attest to that. Well, I'll just tap two. And I'm going to play my Journey as Kite. And I am actually going to activate it now. Wow. And get that island down. Yeah. Oh, right. Which, um... You need uh, two islands out to... Thanks for reminding me. Uh, so <laughs> the island shall be played as my land for turn. Mm. So Awakened Amalgam is now up to 5-5. Five, five. Mm-hmm. Still not going to be strong enough to deal with Yeva if she gets pumped. That's right. Um, so I'm facing multiple problems here. I have to defend against the creatures and I have to keep Huatli down. Yeah. Meanwhile, <clears throat> who wants to voluntarily fight a Fox Samurai defender? Okay. Well, maybe my play is to sit tight. Alright, are you I think, passing? Um, I think I'm going down either way. Yep, I'm passing. Mm hmm. Well, certainly the plan would be to take you down. Um, either way, to round out my outrageous upgrades, uh, aura shards. Well, yeah, and uh, currently all of my non-land permanents are all artifacts. 
that's it. Mm-hmm. Whenever a creature comes into play, I've got a, I've got a lot of those. It seems when a creature comes into play, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Um, oh boy! And so then, Oris, Samite Guardian. Oris. Well, at least she's not green. Uh, she's not green, but she'll blow up your amalgam. 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 It's literally okay. Yep, amalgam. And she'll pump Yeva, and then uh, yes. she'll cream in a cop, but that, that's all right. That and then be... attack. So that'll be 11, 13? 13. 13. All right. So first game goes to you, Sam. All right. Beautiful. All right, so we're starting game two. Okay. Um, hopefully I put up a better showing this round well yeah last game i had a particularly strong opening hand uh, unusually strong i would say it's always strong with you sam so um i guess you decide who starts uh you may start i'll start i'll start with a legendary uh shizu death's storehouse my good old from the old uh, kamigawa block very strong start all right potentially a good omen I'll play the strongest one mana creature in magic, Izumaru, Hound of Condor. Well, I thought I had a good start with a legendary, but uh, Go. you beat me to it. 2-2 two, two creature for one mana. Uh, Izumaru stands alone. Cheap price to pay. Um, I will pass. I mm. think I better take my uh, dogs off the chain. Uh, attack unleash all right puts me down to 38 commander uh go yeah i didn't really mean that by the way it was just an awful lot of legends i get confused which is actually your commander yeah it's um hard to keep track sure it'd be nice if i could swap them around uh, mm. some people play is a as a commander oh yeah well I'm, I'm glad you're not doing it tonight so i'm going to run out my pilgrim's eye um, search my library for a basic land, pop it into my hand, and uh, it's your go. Alright. Uh, must reveal the land, so it's going to be an island. Hmm. He's a 1 1 flyer as a body. I will play a forest and attack with Izamaru, Hound of Condor. Izamaru is coming through. Take another two. So it puts me down at 36. In my second main phase, I'll tap a forest to play a Birds of Paradise oh, and be done. Great. Just great. This this is a slow start for this. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Slow. I wish I had that kind of slow start. Guess who's back? Back again. The uh, Awakened Amalgam. And he is mm. a 4-4 four, four currently. Thanks to my multiple land strategy. I see what's going on. Now... Let's see. Will you put your birds in the way of my pilgrim's eye? I definitely won't block your pilgrim's eye. Whatever that is. Put you down a 39. Alright, so pass to you. Alright, untap. Draw a card. Um, well. 4-4 four, four creature. Hmm. That's all he is. Hmm. Time to bring out the big guns. Captain Sisse hits the board. Go. Big guns, eh? Alright. Gonna need backup. Yeah, I think I might do this now while you're, um, while Sisse has the, uh, the old summoning sickness. Yeah. I'll add. Three mana and I'll mortify. I'll zap to say. Hmm. That's uh, probably the right thing to do. And um, Awaken Amalgam will come in for four. Pilgrim's Eye for one in the air. I will take five damage. And as my final action, I'll put down a Traveler's Amulet. Um, and that's me done. Beautiful. All right. Uh, well. Hmm. 
things aren't quite working. I'll pay two mana and construct a pyramid. Mm -hmm. And I'll uh, remove one of the three brick counters that it comes into play with to draw a card. And be done. Go. Your old pharaoh strategy, eh? Hmm? Well, they knew how to build things to last back then. How much do you value Isamaru? That is the question. Uh, a great deal. He, he loves me more than, uh, than, than life itself. He, well, he's my companion. Um, let's put it that way. I'll put down a sandstone bridge. Mm -hmm. So it's another trick land. When sandstone bridge comes into play, um, target creature gets plus one, plus one and gains vigilance mm. until end of turn. Um, I'll actually have my pilgrim's eye. Again, plus one, plus one. Right. Uh, I see what's going on here. Vigilance. Um, it'll attack. Awaken Amalgam comes in as a 5-5. Five, five. I think I'll... I think I'll cop it. You'll cop it. Alright. Uh, second main phase. I'm going to... Bring out the old... Douthy Trapper. So Douthy Trapper is a 1-1. One, one. He is an old, 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 old. Trapper. Yeah. Yeah. They don't make cards like that anymore. Well, I enjoy the, the, the folklore, the thematic elements that come through in the cards. Mm. And, uh... Pre-legendary days. I think I need to take care of this problem. I don't like the sound of that. Oblivion ring. Oblivion ringing my amalgam. That's it. He was going to win me the game. Too. You've amalgamated for the last time. Very well. Alright, so gonna he's go. ringed. We'll he's ringed. Back to the side. Uh, I'm feeling confident after all that, so I'm going to attack with Izamaru. So I will allow him to bite me one more time. It's been out to 34, and I'm going to okay. sack this and uh, dig up something. Um, that second island. Uh, I'll be done on my turn. You've done enough. Yeah. Hmm. How am I going to get my amalgam back? Well, near as I can tell, if I've worked your deck out, uh, every every land in it is unique, and so specifically built That's for true. the amalgam. I, I'm wondering if there are other strategies in this deck that I now need to... No, no, it's it's uh, pretty much amalgamated. Yeah, it's yeah. a single, okay. single strategy. Alright, so I'm going to put my island down. I'm on six lands. Yeah. So I might as well bring out... Bring out the big gun for the first time. Holy moly. So this is... It's a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger here, or should I say Conan the Barbarian coming out. Good old Dak Black, yep. He's mm. uh, very old, speaking of old school, he's very old school. So now, my Pilgrim's Eye will test your birds. Swing at you for one. My birds will fly out of the way. Birds tend to do. Um, and it's your go. Hmm, wow. Well, my ability to um, not draw lands it's uh, pretty potent. I'm going to bring out Khan, Skion of Urza. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll use his Last top one. ability there. So jack him up to six. Reveal the top two cards of my library and opponent chooses one of them and that goes into my hand. Um, Whoa. So uh, two cards that I'm interested in having. So a tough choice here. Uh, scroll rack would sort me right out. Uh, the the raptors, of course, you know, right. give land. Hmm, this is a big call. This feels like a big call. This will decide the game. I think so. This this decision. We'll give you the raptors and we'll tuck scroll rack under Khan. All right. Knowing that I'm specifically looking for land, you give me the raptors. Well, that's fair enough. I will pass the turn, and I'm up to eight cards now, so I will discard... Eight cards with no land. 
Uh, Multani, Marrow Sorcerer. Well, thank goodness for no lands then. Multani is pretty strong when you can get him out. Well, no one is stronger than um, Dacon Blackblade at the moment, because I've just put us another land into play. So he is now a 7 7. Hmm. I need a second Oblivion Ring. Not good odds of that in the Commander game. No. I guess what Dak Black is going to do first, he's going to open the armory. So we'll search my library for an aura or equipment and put it into my hand. Now I'm pretty sure I have a clock too, but I know what I'm looking for. So that's that. So now it's a real game of skill in if you can search your library sufficiently fast. Um, yeah. Well, it also helps to, to know what Dak Black requires, and that is... Black Blade Reforged. Yeah, Dak Black works the Black Blade. Uh, yeah, and he's got a sword back. So I take it this is kind of the core. This is now. the uh, well, this is the prophecy come to fruition. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like things are gonna get rough from here on out. I'm gonna put down Dak Black's sword. Hmm. Pay another three, and he's gonna get his sword. So. He is now a 14-14. So, yeah, that's... Um, math, math checks out, I believe. Yeah, that's it. 14-14. Uh, and uh, the old Douthy Trapper is going to give him Shadow. That useless old card is now going to be instrumental. Uh, yeah. yeah, he finds use Yeah. under the right master. Wow. So, uh, 14 commander damage coming through. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll take 14. I push? That'll do, I think, for now. Hmm. Gonna rely on my pyramid. Wow. Well, <clears throat> that didn't help either. Uh, okay. I guess I'll... You'll tick him up. I'll tick Khan up and... You're, you're relying on me to help you. You know, mm. <clears throat> hmm. which, which card do I deserve? Do I want to give you Omnath, Locus of Mana, or do I want to give you a Plains? Um, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've, I've, I've got it. You've, you've uh, finally got through that. Through my Machiavellian... There we go. Planning. Uh, You've done it, man. I've orchestrated carefully the answer here and gotten to five mana. So now, finally, I can. Hmm. All right. Let's get out. Majita the lion. Uh. I I guess. You you guess. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Um. Yeah. Well. He always. <laughs> So he's got that weird salute that he's doing. You feel a little bit, you know. Well, um, it's a it's a mass genocide salute. So yeah. I, I think I think we we know what they're alluding to. But uh, enough said. Yeah, that's it. That. So yeah, my plan is to use that ability next turn to uh, wipe out the. Yes. The... That does make sense. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna. Put down a haunted cloak. Mm -hmm. So a crit creature has vigilance, trample, and haste. Right. Mm. I'm gonna equip him. Yeah. With the haunted cloak. Mm -hmm. Pump so him a little. He's, he's pumped a bit. Yeah. So vigilance, trample, and haste. Nice. Um. Well, just you wait till next turn. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a sport. I'm gonna attack you. But with fourteen, fourteen. Uh, uh, well, and I'm gonna have the uh, pilgrim's eye come across. But I'll I'll block. You'll block with my hand. With your with of, of you'll take, take a bite. Out this of, is it. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Did you say? Oh, he's got trample. He's got trample. Uh. <clears throat> uh. All right. I'll double block. You'll double block. All That's right. it. All right. So you're absorbing. Five points of damage. Yeah. So nine will come through. So kind of damage will kill you anyway. Yeah. But it'll be nine plus. So I'll deal ten. I deal ten. Put yeah. you down to three. But uh, the commander damage puts me over the line. But um, if only yeah. you'd saved your uh, birds, you know. That's it. That, that was. Yeah. Then I. Hmm. Oh well. 
Well, you had the momentum for that one. Yeah, so um, was, um, yeah. I was a bit worried with the early um, Isomaru, but um, we got there. Yeah. Uh, We're back for, for the decider, game three. This is it. This uh, is it. The, you can cut the tension with a knife as we learn, can Captain Sise take down Dak Black? Uh, we've also had a bit of a technical issue, so we we're down to one camera for this uh, last video, but um, hopefully it won't be too annoying. Um, I guess as the winner, I'll, I'll elect to go first. So I'll start us off with our meandering river and pass. All right, I'll play a planes, and you know how you got to kick these things off. <laughs> Reese the Redeemed well, oh. for one mana. Well, yeah, that's... Well, okay. Uh, go... You can single-handedly do quite a bit uh, if I can keep him around. I guess that's one of the legends you could potentially interchange with Sise when you so feel like it. Well, I've just put a swamp down and um, I'm done. I await what Reese does. I'll play a planes and attack. Me for one, so that puts me down to 39. All right, I've got to deal with Reese. Uh, he can get a bit out of control, can he? Yes, there's not too many one minor cards that can kind of keep growing. I'll put down my burnished heart. Your nice. go. He's getting up with my my land ramp. Well, my Tranquil Thicket will uh, be good for me. Yeah. Um, I'll be done. Alright, so I'm one turn away from an activation with Reese. Play an island. So this is from the Tribe of Elves, that uh, obsessive of beauty, I believe. Well, how are transfixed by the beauty of a burnished elk is Reese. Uh, he'll let that through. Let Your it. weird abomination artifact <laughs> elk. Uh, an elk of gold. Mm. Mm. And it's your go. Alright, so we know that I can create a token. Mm -hmm. Do I want to do something else? Well, I do have options. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll play out Mangara of Corondor. Goodness. And attack for one. Attack for one. Puts me down to 38. Go. Um, so well. Mangara is a follow-up from a, a card, uh, Mangara's Blessing, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the originator of, of her name. And then they worked in Mangara herself later. Um... How was I like reading about how she fits into the magic lore? Um, she was stuck in a tower from somebody. I can't remember. Did you ever read those bo old books? I I have read some of them. Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of battles, basically. A lot of, That's right. A lot of spell casting. Mangara was um, crucial in one story. Hmm. He was uh, locked in a tower or something. Is Mangara he or she? I thought Mangara was a woman, but... Gosh, that that could be a guy. I mean, all there is is the long hair to kind of... It's and, hard to uh, know. Well, I've sacked my burnished heart between your turn and I've dug up two mm. lands. Yeah, I would have happily killed your heart if I could have. And had you the um, opportunity. Mm. Um, but now your heart is gone. As it always has been. Play down a salt marsh. And I am um, got the old six mana happening. Oh, it's a six mana. Play a strong card that I can target, Patrick. That's the important thing. I don't like the sound of that. Just just make sure to get out your best card. That's right. I forgot Mangara is there. Mangara will uh will take away will take away my toys. Well, speaking of a uh, removal, mm -hmm. I'll kill. Several birds with one stone, and I'll what cast the... them fast. 
So all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. So um, you'll notice the timing with my heart. I made sure to um, to get full value out of my ugly my ugly elk. You're a heartless man. So you go. Well, uh, some legends end early, you might say. Uh, anyhow, that's fine. That's 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 fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, time for the new threat to come out, Commander Isha. Isha. Two four flying protection from creatures. Protection Bird from creatures. soldier legend. Go. So very strong card, I think, Commander Isha. P protection from creatures is nearly the strongest uh, ability a creature can have. It's a big thing. Um, um, there is a creature with protection from everything. Oh yes, um, I think I've seen you churning out progenitus mm. one or two times in our battles. Um, I play down my evolving wilds. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five, six mana, and I'll bring out my commander, nice. who's a creature in of himself. Yeah. So uh, he's not going to get through Isha too easily, but um, I'll sack this evolving wilds and pass to you. Well, I know your tricks with the the shadows so um yeah the shadow knows everything so there's a lot i could do patrick there are many ways uh to play this but i'll i'll start start by giving you a bit of a you're not holding her back as a, I? a, a bird slap um, okay all right, I'm suspicious of this, but um, I guess I take two. Uh, I've got a great spell that is new to this deck. Uh, it's not captured very... by the consulate, is it? Yes, it is. Well, Patrick. that's uh, that's, uh, just, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, well, here's here's the games we're playing where he can. <laughs> Predicts the cards I'm about to play right. before I play. Well, that just this goes is what to I have show. to deal with. Uh, 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 all right. Well, yeah. Uh, that's four mana, by the way. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right, good so. spotted. So I, I guess I kind of like this card. For for any card you play, you kind of aspire to get a card advantage in some way. And so if all it did was, you know, the creature kind of attack, it's hard to get the card advantage because you're sort of trading one card for another card's uh, mm -hmm. weakness. But this is two effects now. So the the dream for this card is that it chews up two of your cards ultimately. Uh, but, you know, yeah. we will see. We can block. You just can't attack, that's the thing. You can block creatures that don't have protection from creatures, sure. Well, this is annoying. I have a, a nice big 9-9 nine nine here. Mm. Who, um... He's just my wall. I think I'm gonna just swing it back to you. Mm -hmm. um, I am restrained by the consulate. I guess Annihilation is probably... Could be stronger. Uh... All right. Well, I think now's a good enough time as any to get out Captain Sissi. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Off you go, Commander Isha. Oh, boy. Attack. Go. Do I live on the edge here? Do I, do I live boldly? I think I'm, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the crazy thing. Are you going to attack my commander? I am going to Merciless Resolve, and I'm going to sack... My commander. So as an additional cost, I must sack a creature or a land to draw two cards. Right. I yes. will sack Dakon Blackblade. And... He is uh, free from the consulate's clutches. Trying to work out whether that was my plan or not. Um, maybe? Well, it certainly wasn't my plan. Hmm. But um, while it's still your turn, I'm going to cycle my Desert of the True. Draw hmm. a card. All right, my turn begins. The good news is um, you can't possibly have another one of those consulate cards. Uh, that's 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 true. We, we've seen an oblivion ring. We've seen a consulate thing. You you could have different variants. Well, so, uh, you know, Mangara is a, is a variant. Mm -hmm. You know, try to. 
try to get me to run out of my white mana answers. They'll, they'll keep coming. Well, run out my Orzhov Signet. Mm -hmm. I think that'll that'll add to the that'll pay for it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. Yep. So I'll have to tap out. Uh, Eight mana. Oh boy, that's um and back pretty steep cost. Comes. And uh, all right. Down. I must find a new way to punish you. Um. I think I'll play Sky Whaler's Shot. You what? Oh, okay. So, Deck on. In, in this metaphor, he is the Sky Whale. He's the whale. Uh, and I get to scry one. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, attack with Isha. With Isha. Go down to 32. This is a death by a thousand pecks. That's it. <laughs> It's magpie season. Uh, I'll play out Shana, yep. Sisei's legacy. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if Shana is the daughter or something like that. Yeah, well, uh, go. That's that's on theme. So a three three at the moment, and oh, I yeah. will tap Sisei now on your turn and. Oh well, that's a good move. Just decide what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to get down a Traveler's Amulet to start with. Um, I'm going to activate it right now. Dig up that land so I can play it. I've uh, looked for... I don't know... Dreju? Dejeru? Dejeru, with eyes open. Um... I've mostly gotten him because he's 5 mana. Which is uh, all you have. Yeah. So I dug up a planes with my Traveler's Amulet and I'll put it down. Uh, this is the um, problem with a, uh, a pseudo Voltron approach. Mm. That one is now a pricey 10 mana. So yeah. I need to get up there. Well, you're, you're approximately there next turn. You'll be fine. Alright, well, I'm going to play Rising Miasma. Mm -hmm. Two, four, for the price of seven. So this planes shall get three counters. So you've killed Sisse. I Sisse. I haven't and dealt with her daughter. Or well, you did because she shrinks to two. zero. No, she's a 2 2, is that right? Yeah, but with neg 2, neg 2. I oh, don't know. So she was 3-3, three, three. Yeah. she gets shrunk by neg 2, neg 2, and Sisse dies, of course. shrinking her well, further. Go so me. you killed mother and daughter. No, I, killed, I, killed, I killed the family. E evil I, spell. Yeah. Alright, and I've got a 3-3 uh, three, three, um, who, land who can now attack. Who's presumably a 1-1, one, because one, all creatures have neg 2 in terms of turn. Is that correct? I think... Um, I think that happens after the effect because I play it for the awakened cost. If I cast this spell, also put three one one counters on. Also put three. I, my theory is it's, it's a one a, one. It's a one one. All right. I guess he will stay back then. It's yeah. one one. Uh, all right. He'll, uh, not not that he can do anything about Ishia, but yeah, it's just your go. Forest. Hmm. All right. Well, now to bring out the big guns. The defender of the forest, Multani. Oh. Maro Sorcerer. Multani Maro Sorcerer is pound toughest, each equal to the total number of cards in all players' hands, and cannot be the target of spells or abilities. My cards are four. I also have four. Eight, eight. That's eight, eight. Eight, eight. Strong. Strong card. Mm, very um, strong. So Isha will two. attack. So two. Go down to 30. Get another peck in. Go. All right, well. So, yep, this is it. This is the Sisse deck. Um, 
not not big on combos just generally pretty strong singletons yeah pretty strong that's for sure um all right so i'll put down a forsaken sanctuary um now i believe i'm on nine lands so i'm gonna have to pay 10 for deck one again so that means my walls off yeah and he's back he's back 10 10. Oh, I'm sure he's only a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, yes. Only a 9-9 nine, nine for my Oh, well, lands. there's a land here. Oh, of course, yep. So he is a 10-10. Ten, ten. All right, so mm. he is now slightly bigger than our... Than Multani. Well, this is outrageous. Well, uh, that'll do me. Slightly bigger than Multani. What is this? All right. I reckon what I'll do is I'll keep pecking. You'll peck. All right. On 28. So, as long as Isha keeps charging, there's, there's nothing there to, to stop Dakon. But, to play some defense, now you face Ooh. Michoku, Konda, Truth Seeker, yes. Legendary Human Advisor. I and see. so it is that you start sacrificing your land and weakening your own commander. My own defenses, yes. Uh, and then... So I'm going to play me a Secure Tribe Elder mm -hmm. and go. All right. So this adds a, uh, another dimension mm. to any potential beatdown. Because I, I was going to start uh, charging in. Uh, this, um, that was my suspicion that I needed to do something to temper your wrath. This does put me back, put me back some. So I'll put down a Dread Statuary as my land for turn. I will. Mm. Firstly, put out the old swift foot boots. Okay. Swift foot boots. They won't send you from, save you from Conda. No, no, it will not. But um, Dakon hopefully has uh, some single target protection going on. So I'm gonna pay three mm -hmm. to start off. I'm gonna cast a Traveler's Cloak on Dakon Blackblade. So this is after you did the equip to give him hexproof. That's right. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'll draw a card. So I shall do that. I will choose planes. Hmm. Very well. My chump block plan is over. So I'll sacrifice my secure tribe elder to draw a card. So I have 12 lands in play, so Dakon is a 12-12. Mm -hmm. No worries. It no takes worries. 21 commander damage to finish me, Patrick. That is right. So let's uh, let's take the long road. So I will attack you for 12. Well, you've ensured that I cannot block, so I guess that's that. So that will bump you. Your life total goes down to 26, and you take 12 commander. Mm. Now I must sacrifice a permanent, I believe, and uh, that permanent will be my... Was I've seen it? Hmm. I'll take it. You will take it. Now, I will cast uh, Pilgrim's Eye. So that puts a land in my hand. Hmm. And um, that is me done. No worries. The swing is happening. How many cards do you have in your hand, Patrick? Let me see. I have a cool three. I have four. Multani is a seven seven. Seven seven. Uh I will attack with Multani and Isha. And Isha. I'm gonna let that come through. So I'll take nine. Sounds good to me. It puts me down to 19. So, to give you what you deserve, I will slaughter the strong. Oh, is that the one where we have to choose? Each player chooses any number of creatures they control with total power, four or less, and sacrifices the rest. Oh boy. Alright, so that will 
basically choose these for me. So Daikon mm. now it costs a cool 12 mana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I for one stays, am yeah. fascinated to see if you can uh, ca hard cast him again. Oh, uh, well, I have no choice at this point. So uh, I'll play my eighth land and be done. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Alright. The challenge is 12 mana. Which I, I have 12 lands. That's, um, Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and this, this kind of deck. Um. And that was... And that was a uh, plane. Another one. So that's one, two... Alright. Four. Seven. 10, 12. My goodness. Well, I'm making you work for it. You, you are making me work for it. You're really annoying me. I'm gonna swift foot boots attack on. Y yeah. So he now has haste proof and haste. J Jesus. So, um, what do you value more? Michiko Konda or making me sack a permanent? Or your life? Michiko Kondo is a seeker of truth, mm -hmm. and the ultimate truth is death. Can't evade death. No. Alright, fair enough. That's all I can do for this turn. Well, I got rid of a, I got rid of a big problem. But, um... Alright, but you don't have the Traveler's Cloak anymore. No. So I have nine land. Um, I um, guess I better get out my commander. Things aren't as bad as it looks, folks. I've got an unkillable blocker there. Traveller's Cloak's gone. Um, Sisse's out. Ready to rock. Go. All right. You've gotten in some commander damage, got that's some, fine. Got but chump uh, blocker's in the way. You didn't, um... Isha's, uh, more than a chump blocker, Patrick. Isha is a wall that is uh, unbreakable. Well, the thing about walls, Sam, yeah, yeah, is that um, uh, the best way, the best way through a wall is under it. So um, I'm gonna cast Dragon Shadow. So enchanted creature gets plus one and has fear. Right. So um, but. <clears throat> Isha doesn't receive damage from the creature, so, uh, mm. so, in principle, shouldn't have no. But a, the, the a care the, in the world. Isha's problem is she's white. Yeah. Um, n nothing uh, extra <laughs> to that statement. But, yeah. Um, it's important in this context because um, she can't deal with fear. Yeah. So um, she's definitely afraid of Dakon at this point. Let's see what tricks you have. So uh, I'll attack with a... Well, I'm glad you... No, I've got nothing. You've got nothing. Right. That's it. You had me worried for a second there, but... Uh, yeah, you took no. it home. Yep. With, with well, these old, old, old fear yep. mechanics. So well the old done. mixed with the new... Um, yeah. So, yeah, we, we, saw, we saw the best of both worlds. We saw the Shana uh, Sisei's legacy and... Um, yeah. The old Captain Sisse and a, um, a lot of uh, legends from across time. That's it. A lot of interesting legends. Plenty more in this deck. Uh, but you know, doesn't combo too strong. And, and against the deck that I must say, obviously, is, is finely tuned in a sense for this particular combo that you've mm. got going. So yeah. very nice. Well, yeah, good game, Sam. So mm. thanks for joining us, and um, hope you enjoyed the games. And um, until the next edition. <laughs>